Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Yoshi's New Island. Here we are, starting with World 3. Finally, probably halfway point through the game once we beat this, so thank God for that. We've got ourselves Rise of the Nasty Nappy Nuts. I don't even know how they want us to pronounce it, but I'm just gonna call them the people that they're recycling from the first game, which of course is definitely what they're doing. So let's go stock up on eggs here, because they, while they did recycle some things from games, such as this big jerk, well, guess what? Giant Nappy Nuts aren't gonna give up after after just one hit, keep tossing eggs until they back down. You have to hit them three times in order to get them to piss off. Unlike the first game and the second, where you only had to hit them once and they would back off. It's like, do you think that makes the game more difficult? Just to have to shoot them more in order to make them, ah, it's annoying. And then we've got monkeys that you can eat, but you can't swallow and make into eggs. Now, that's gonna be a lot of what you're gonna see throughout the course for the rest of the, uh, the recycled enemies. So I would I would recommend for the Nepnuts to just go ahead and jump and shoot because you don't go through the animation of picking up the eggs. I don't know if you've noticed why it's been so stupid for, you know, why you shoot eggs while still on your feet, but it's annoying. So you can't swallow monkeys to make eggs like you could in the other two games. Um, you have to jump on them to kill them or, you know, use them against another monkey. Just death by monkey brother, I guess, but jeez, stupid naked ditties. Alright, so let's go over here. I think there's just a flower. Yeah, there's just a flower gonna appear out of nowhere. Oh, no, there was a red coin there. Or was, that was a red coin. Oh, never mind. <laughs> there are some more things. If you fall down the pit, that's okay. There's just gonna be a tap tap down there. And, uh, it's not the most... Ugh, can I get this one coin? Jeez. All right, let's go just collect things the old-fashioned way. There we go. I'm gonna fill up our eggs here in a minute anyway. All right, there we go. There we go. God, I don't need to collect any of these for any circumstances, but let's get out of here, shall we? So I'm not a fan of the music in this part or this particular level's aesthetic very much, but I don't know. So these guys are gonna throw bombs. They always throw bombs at you, which is kind of annoying. But it's just, ugh, it's like, why can't, why can't we swallow the monkeys? Is, is it like some kind of animal abuse? Would you rather us stomp on their faces to death for us to kill them? Because if not, ooh, secret, nice. What was that? Oh, I must have probably gotten that at some point. <laughs> it's like, come on, man. It doesn't make any sense to me, but uh, we've got ourselves kind of a bit of an industrial level here. Uh, metal egg dozers are very heavy. Okay, so sing one down, down, down there into the sea. Down, down, down there. Down there for me, right on. Because Yoshi was a diver and he was always down, so. <laughs> All right, get over here. So for some reason, even though we've ingested slash blowjobbed this metal egg dozer, we are now confined for being extremely dense. For whatever reason, Yoshi also becomes heavy and he can also go underwater, which is interesting, but for the most part, it doesn't really serve much. There's like a puzzle that involves, you know, weight underwater in a castle, but for the most part, it goes relatively untouched. And when you shoot the egg, just remember that you'll become buoyant again. Yeah, and then we gotta grab this red coin here. Ugh, I don't think you actually have to ground pound, butt stomp there, but you know, it doesn't hurt. So as he front flipped into that, we got ourselves some more Friggin' coins. It's like, jeez. They're just coins. It's like, ugh. D did somebody have, like, a really good time programming all that nonsense? Alright, let's go over here and <laughs> use the monkey to destroy the cloud. That's actually gonna have some stars in it, so that's why I put that out, even though we don't need to be over here. I guess there was a red coin, so I guess there was a good reason to go over there anyway. I don't know. But let's move on, shall we? I'm just recording this after the last part, so sorry if I seem slightly irate. No, my name is not Chris, so don't even think about it. Alright, so let's go jump down into the water once again. And, you know, you can't really do much. We've got some cheap cheeps down here. Cheap cheeps are dumb. And then we got these Dumbo squid things with the weird eyes. Ugh, there we go. Now, I think... Actually, never mind. I'm not going to continue that train of thought. Cheap cheap. Don't even think about it. So here we've got ourselves a puzzle. Which one do we hit first? Well, the eggs, you know, it's kind of obvious you have to hit it to the left side, but hopefully... Okay, good. Grabbed all of it. And that. Very nice. This is weird, too, because it's just... This is just a weird... Just all the level designs in this game are just very strange. We'll destroy this, and this will go ahead and knock back into this pit we were just in. And look at Watch. It, it activated a cloud there that wouldn't have been activated by us if we just stepped into it, which is weird. And I think it just says 
uh, or stars in it, but it's like, even if we tried walking into it, it doesn't get activated until after the metal egg hits it. So, I love metal egg, and oh, great. Ladies and gentlemen, I like to present to you the absolute worst transformation in this game is the submarine. No, I'm not going to sing any fucking Ringo songs for you guys because every single LP I've seen of this game, somebody has to sing Yellow Submarine. No, we're not a Yellow Submarine. You cannot break with this. You still have the shitty missiles here, and you can only go at a 45 degree angle, which doesn't help for these extremely narrow corridors that you need to go 90 degrees to go up. And it's very annoying, and I guess technically you can break by just shooting, like, constantly, like this, and that actually kind of helps, but it doesn't help that you can turn in such crappy increments. You gotta, like, really, really go into that turn, man. You gotta commit once you get to it. And thank you, thank you, that's all I wanted was just that red coin. Okay, I just want to get through this, and then when you get caught on something, it just takes years. Okay, good. We just need two more, and we're good. We'll go down this bottom one, since it's not very difficult. And, uh, it's like, out of all of the transfer, I didn't think the submarine is actually that bad, you know? I'm a, I'm a fan of Alex Turner and Richard Ayuwadi, but you know what? I'm... Uh, and the, oh, never mind. I'm not even going to spoil. I don't think the uh, vehicle mission at the end of this world is the submarine. Thank freaking God. But uh, it's not, not a fan of it, and I'm not a fan of the jackhammer. I'm not a fan of the helicopter. Not a, I mean, the minecart is the only one that is relatively decent. So we've got five red coins to go and one flower. And get this nepin nut out of our face. Get out of here, man. Oh God. See, this is this is a lot of what people didn't don't like in the first game. I like the nepin nuts and the you know monkeys and stuff. But God, this guy is just the persistent bastard. You can't kill him. And we got to go back for that. I think for one red coin. So I'm gonna go ahead and kill this asshole. Get out of my hair. There it is. Jeez. And we can also get ourselves nice more stars here if you need it, which I think is like our fifth drop of stars. Not even kidding me. And I accidentally jumped or ran into that. So if we don't get a thing, don't give me the birth control. Are you kidding me? I'm sorry for saying, yeah, Rise of the Nasty Nepinuts. That's not even my biggest qualm with this level. And, you know, if this is coming as a surprise to you because I was like, oh, you know, I really like World 3. It's probably one of my favorites. Well, that's not one of the reasons why. Ladies and gentlemen, Yukiki Jammin. Okay, if you go into this level expecting something you've seen in another Yoshi's Island game, you'll be sorely mistaken. Just, just... Look at that background, and the music. It doesn't feel like it should be a Yoshi thing, um, but it is, and I kind of like it. It kind of reminds me of uh, Alice in Wonderland a little bit. The uh, DS version, by the way, which I plan on hopefully doing one of these days, because even though it is based on the Tim Burton movie, it is actually pretty damn good. Um, as just its own platformer slash puzzler, which might surprise a lot of you. It's surprised the hell out of me that it's incredibly overrated. There are no guides online for it somehow. I mean, God, it, I kind of feel bad because it, it was, like, actually a really good, thoughtful game. I mean, uh, you, you guys will just have to see it. I mean, it's kind of weird in some parts because it's basically an escort mission game, <laughs> but it's not, it's not too bad. So, I don't know, I just really like that chalky kind of, uh, what is that material, like, pastelish background for this. And it's just, like, not something you'd see in the Ocean's Island game. It's like we're walking through a game of Limbo or something. Alright, so let's go collect all of these. There should be, I think, two more? No, just the one and the two. There it is. And a Singa all the day and a Springa and... Ah. It's just like, that's that does not something you see in a Yoshi's Island game, and it's it's really cool. I, I like the background for this world. And we see it a couple more times, which is kind of cool. Um, it kind of outstays its welcome. Ooh, he was going to shoot me. He was being very mean. Oh yeah, also, I haven't mentioned, uh, watermelon seeds, by the way. Each half-eaten watermelon seed, or watermelon you open, will only allow you to shoot... I believe three times, which is not even nearly good enough for any reason whatsoever. So let's go grab this because we've got ourselves a nice little house here, nice little door rather. But man, the, are are the monkeys called Yukikis? The uh, the naked ditties, if you will. 
Okay, oh, this room is really annoying. Okay, there's actually some secrets in here <laughs> I'm not a fan of, and it's not on this one. Never mind. All right, there it is. Thank you for at least keeping that watermelon on screen there. Okay, so where those threes are, I do believe there's actually going to be <laughs> three, I believe there's going to be... Oh, no, no. Oh, it's on the two. Never mind. So we've got ourselves some red coins here. I think. Did they spawn red coins? It didn't spawn any red coins. Oh, one red coin at the very end. Thanks, game. Now, uh, there should be... Okay, right here. This is annoying. Get rid of those stupid things as much as you can. Don't worry about the eggs. Okay. Or the stars. I keep calling the stars something different every single time. There's one more we need to collect here. And... Ugh, there it is. Okay, let's go hit... Whoops. That, that backfired. Okay, let's use our only egg. Literally the only egg you'll get in this level. It's from that shy guy we ate earlier. And going down. Thank you very much. Fantastic. Yeah, we've been going to down down a lot in this episode, haven't we? Yoshi was diving, and he was always down with bringing Mario all the way downtown. Okay. So we need two more two more flowers and six more red coins. Or two more red coins. God damn it. No, six more red coins. I'm sorry. I'm kind of concentrating here because these things, when they shoot at you, they're so annoying. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. I think we have four. Did we have four in that one? Maybe it depends on if they shot or not. That was one. I don't even care at this point, but it feels like... I don't know. I guess it makes sense for a handheld to not have tiny projectiles being shot at you because I know that was a big complaint in the first Yoshi's Island that you couldn't see the stupid seeds being shot at you, but I don't know. Also, when you're shooting, like, you know, the monkeys, the naked ditties into things, uh, you can actually make them collect stuff for you, which is kind of funny. And he's drowning. They even have the dumb little animal animation of them like chomping at the water it's kind of funny it's kind of cute it's a little cute okay so i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of you now the last flower is over here and this is kind of annoying so make sure you have as many c's as you can because these guys will throw bombs at you and they'll always try to aim at you there we go now the last one we don't have another egg damn it this is not good uh you will give me an egg Okay, we need to go find something to uh, make as our projectile. I guess we could suffice with, you know, maybe a monkey or, you know, watermelon seed or two. So let's go collect that. And let's go. Let's go over here. Because it's, believe it or not, the flower, the last flower, is actually hidden somewhere in those stupid vines those monkeys were in. Oh, never mind. I guess we didn't need it. We didn't need the stupid monkey. Okay. Well, that's fine by me. Uh, and I accidentally ran into the goal again. Damn it. All right, if we don't get it, is it... Oh, okay, we did get it. What determines that? I mean, I, I was watching the speed run, and people would do certain things before they got to the midpoint ring, like they would activate it sooner, and then they would slow to a walk, and then go into it, and it would guarantee them not to get a bonus game. But it's like, uh, I just want to get the... Why'd you have to put in the, uh, the gold medals, man? Okay. So with that, oh, Harry Hedgehog's Labyrinth. Okay, so yet again, another level lifted from the first game and the third world. And it's one of those things where it's like, did this really have to come back? You have two entrances. You can go to this bottom one, but it's pointless to you unless you have a key, which we'll get by going on the upper portion. Does this sound familiar to anyone else? Because if it doesn't, then you clearly have not played the first game where there was a level called Meet Harry Hedgehog. So, I don't know. So with death by monkey and death by invisible clouds we will go in with five extra stars and take this for dinner i guess i don't know but uh ladies and gentlemen i didn't just you a hairy hedgehog he's slightly more fabulous than he was in the first game he is no longer sonic's distant cousin but uh here we've actually got ourselves ooh, one of my favorite items in this game if not because of its aesthetics you can breathe fire five times if you eat a red water element so ladies and gentlemen remember to breathe wisely we've got ourselves awesome fire breathing uh it's just so much more satisfying to shoot and kill enemies in this game with the fire than it is in the other games like look at that i mean it is kind of one of those cop out stupid 3d things but still it's like kind of cool how they just don't die off stage and they're actually burning and uh, they are no longer going to live in this world anymore. So, anyway, uh, we got ourselves some pretty pleasant uh, cave music, actually, which is not too bad for us. But, you know, of course, right as I say that, we're going to go head outside. No big deal. You know, just going outside. Okay, so we can go and uh, inspect our surroundings. What do we got out here? Nothing really cool. It's kind of phallic nature of some of the formations of these, of these uh, rocks here. So... Yeah, we're not going to be looking at those anymore. 
All right, so grab the giant egg, and here we can hopefully do this in a single shot. Now we just need to get that, that uh, bouncing thing down there. I hope I hit it. If I didn't, I'll be disappointed. Let's go grab this. All right, very nice. And we got our key, by the way, so now we can actually beat the level. So it's not really that bad. It's not really a labyrinth because it's very straightforward and not difficult by any stretch of the imagination. Like, the only difficulty I've ever had with this game, aside from some of the really stupid controls, like having to stand still to swallow and shoot eggs, aside from that is finding some of the secret dick places that, you know, they'll put certain things. Um, case in point, this level gave me a lot of trouble in finding the last red coin because they put it in a place that you wouldn't think to walk to activate the invisible thing. And I'm not a fan of that whatsoever. If, unless I'm vastly mistaken, they did not have things that, like coins, that would be hidden unless you walked over a certain place. Am I right or am I wrong? Because I don't remember playing much Yoshi's Island DS. I just kind of omit that part of my memory for a while. But it's like, they use it so liberally over the course of this game, like, make sure you walk over every single part of the level so you don't miss a thing, like, right here. Like, Jesus, and this gives us a friggin' door with, like, millions of collectibles in there. And it's, it's like, uh, I'm sorry if I'm just complaining so much, but it just, uh, I was thinking about that stupid survey I took on my post-play of this game, so I could get some more points on my Club Nintendo thing. Kind of waiting to see what they have for, uh, after April runs out, but we'll see. Alright, well, let's go activate this. This one you have to take a pretty set path, but, uh, we'll go collect all of the things we can, because this one actually kind of makes you hustle your bustle. I don't know why I said that. And I went the wrong way. We're committing to this way, though. I'm going backwards. Whoops. Okay, let's go this way. That's okay. That's okay. We saved it. That, we're fine. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, nothing in there. All right. So we need four more red coins and one more flower. That is not too bad. Um, but hopefully we'll be able to find all of them because I remember it being really weird. And now we're on the bottom of this part. Huh. Okay. Let's grab this. Are you stars? You are stars. Okay, so right here, ladies and gentlemen, dick move. You have to walk there to activate this segment to give you the last red coin. Or the last one I ever found. Oh, God. Alright, can you be a dumbo a little bit somewhere else, please? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Okay, I guess you guys could do that. Can I just kill you both? Nope, can just kill one of you. Alright, well, that's fine by me. I'm not really affected by that any other way, but... Ah, uh, excuse me. Okay, so that's where you would have come from if you went to the bottom path, so that's why I went all the way around. And there we go. Alright, very nice. Death to everything. Did we collect everything? Two more red coins, one more flower? I think we're good to go. Because we have one more room we have to go to, and that's actually right outside of the goal ring. So thank God for that. Alright, monkey, you can have death by monkey... B or you can just go over monkey, brother. That's fine by me, I guess. All right, and last flowers right over here, and last red coin right there. Fantastic. Why this one is here, I have no idea. Let's get out of here and aim right. My aim is true. Ugh. Yeah, that doesn't give me a red. Or, I keep saying red coin, gold medal, and yay, we did it. Yeah. So you might want to uh, stop and think about it for a minute. Oh, we got a one man out of that. So two out of three. That's not too bad for the first episode of this world, I suppose. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, so next time on Yoshi's New Island, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be taking on a laughable boss in the area of the slime drop drama. Yes, just because it's not in the first world doesn't mean it's not going to make its appearance in the game, okay? Same goes for those damn Kirbys, okay? Alright, I'll talk to you guys in the next part. La la la.